On this week's video, I'm going to show you how I take a sheet of plywood, some LED lights, and make a really fun and unique backlit LED sign. Here, I'm just zeroing the CNC machine to the material. On this particular sign, I cut a V groove on the back of all the logo components. And this was to allow the tape to bend around a radius that it wouldn't normally bend around. I also added alignment pins because every piece of this logo is going to be on a standoff of a backer board. And that helps for alignment and not having to think about how it goes together, the, all the puzzle pieces. Here I'm just cutting all the tabs from the CNC cut components so that I didn't have to tape anything down to the bed of the CNC machine. A lot of individual pieces. Next I'm taking the backer board that I'm going to put the logo on and building it up so that I have a place to hide all of the wiring and uh, a strip to mount the wall piece to the wall. I'm just running glue on layers of plywood and this is the backer board that I was talking of. While everything is still wet I'm going to load it into the vacuum bag and suck out all the air providing an even amount of pressure over the entire piece and it's just something that clamps you can't accomplish as easily or as effectively as a vacuum bag. You can see here, it just sucks it down super tight. After pulling it out of the vacuum bag, I'm going to put edge banding to hide the plywood edge all the way around this circle that'll be painted. First, I'm laying down a wood primer just so that all the paint doesn't soak in. And this color matches the wall that is going to be hung on. Because I use plywood for the logo, I'm instead of edge banding all these intricate pieces, I'm going to use a stain that matches the walnut color on the front. It's going to be 10 feet in the air, and really you're not going to notice the stained edges versus edge banded edges. Moving on, I'm going to be wiring a ton of LED channels in the back of this sign. Because these are RGB lights with white, there's, a t uh, there's about six wires that has to be wired to every segment on this piece. Getting them all tested is quite the challenge. And here you can see I'm installing all the pieces on standoffs and running wires through all the pre-drilled holes that I did on the CNC machine. After running all the wires through the back, I combined everything to the controller that you see here, and that's actually what the remote uses to tell the LED lights what to do. Beside that, you see the, the power supply that converts our typical household power to the 24 volt signal of these LED lights. When we went to mount it, we used a French cleat, which really made the installation easily done. literally hung the thing, straightened it, and dropped the sign in place. Then we were able to take a measurement on each side, centering the piece on the wall. After centering, we just ensured that it was on and attached and flipped the switch, lit up, this sign is awesome. I absolutely love the warm glow that the backlight provides to the logo and walnut pops with anything, especially a backlit panel. Because it's RGB, all of this is tunable to whatever color combination you want. And I actually did it in multiple channels so that multiple colors could be selected at once. 
here you can just see me testing the colors. There you have it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. Um, the build process of a sign that is backlit with LEDs. Um, on that one, I used RGB lights with a, a tunable white. Uh, so that gives the most color options. Um, showed a lot of the details of the process of how I engineered making that sign. Um, maybe it'll inspire you to make one. Maybe you just enjoyed it. But overall, I hope you follow along. I hope you subscribe and we will see you next week. Talk to you later. Bye.